Hello and welcome to another tutorial for NX Unigraphics. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about assemblies. Uh, it's basically the explosion of assemblies. It's just going to be a little tiny video for those who don't know how to make explosions. Um, so I have a little uh, assembly here made. Uh, it's about, uh, I don't know, really seven, six pieces. I, I haven't counted them. Anyway, so I'm going to post a link to this uh, assembly. So you can use this also and you know follow me in the video. So I'm just gonna go ahead and load up uh, Ensamblado 01. It's uh, assemblies in Spanish. I don't know why I did it in Spanish. Anyway, so here we have this little view, this little assembly that I uh, replicated from some Google image. Uh, so assembly just basically means putting a bunch of parts together and the explosion is just basically uh, taking those parts a little bit more separate so you can see how it was assembled in real life uh, So the way we are going to do this. I'm just gonna press uh, start in my keyboard to bring up the Trimetric view and then I'm gonna zoom out a little bit Then I'm going to go ahead and hide this uh, datum coordinate system because I don't need it anymore I used it just for the orientation of the original of the base here and then we're gonna go and uh, if you haven't done so already you're gonna have to go to the little guys here and then roll advanced with full menus and this is gonna make all of these little menus pop up and then make sure you go to start and assemblies uh, once you have this enabled you're gonna see this little window over here right next to the sketches and here we have the exploded views so once you click that, it's going to bring this little window. You can probably paste it somewhere there, but I, I like to have it uh, floating above. Okay, so here, um, I already have done an explosion before just to test uh, this thing out. So this is what we're gonna try to do now. Um, you can see uh, like as a rule of thumb, uh, you want to move the stuff as how you will assemble in real life. So we'll put this little screw on the top and the nut goes on the bottom because you move we'll, you move first this little uh, model to the base and then you put the little, from the top comes the screw and the nuts come from the bottom. I didn't put the threads in any of these because I just didn't bother. It, it will just make my pieces slower. Um, so let's go ahead and start. So you're not going to see this, so you're going to see an explosion. So once you do this, you click new explosion and you give it a name. I'm going to give it a name to explosion tutorial. And once this is done, uh, you will go back to these little guys just to see the, the pieces in the assembly navigator. It's more comfortable. So now we have two options. We can go ahead and do this stuff manually with Edit Explosion, or we can just go to Auto Explode. I'm gonna show you Auto Explode. Um, so select objects. So I'm going to select the objects that are going to be moving. So for example, these little red pieces, the screws, and these nuts, and then this little plate on the back, and along all of this stuff too. The base I'm not going to select it because it's not going to move. It's going to be my uh, my fixed object in space. So I'm gonna go ahead and press. I uh, can't. Anyways, try to put it on in the center. But anyways, so I'm gonna go press OK. Then the distance that is going to be separated. Uh, this is in inches, so I'm gonna tell one inch is probably fine. And this is what it does. So you can see it moves some of the stuff properly, and other stuff not so much. So we're going to have to go ahead and uh, edit this stuff manually. So first thing first, I'm going to select these little guys. And then I'm going to select the Edit Explosion, Move Objects. Then I'm going to pull them up. I have this little snap increment to 0.5 inches. So that's handy. And then, OK, and then I'm going to select these guys too. Uh, again, edit explosion and just move them up. So this is just what you will be doing now. Just moving stuff. I'm going to select everything and put it in front so that I can see the other stuff better. So about there is fine. So I'm going to press start just to move the screen. Then these guys 
these don't seem to be very much uh, outside of the base. I'm gonna have to move them manually also. So, so like I say, like these guys will be assembled first. So you know, you you will put the plate and then these little screws and then the nuts in the back. And then finally these little guys, because otherwise it would be pretty unhandy, but yeah. Uh, so we go and keep going, and then the nuts on the backs are the final thing we gotta do. Uh, I think that's about, yeah, that's probably fine for what I'm trying to show. So this is the little, um, how the exploded view will end up. This is pretty easy to do, you just click here, uh, you create a new one, you give it a name, and then you start uh, moving stuff with this edit explosion option in the move objects. Uh, you can go ahead and try to move stuff from here. Uh, it's going to ask you, like, do you want to edit explosion or the actual assembly that you made? So just make sure to click the uh, explosion and then move objects and you move them stuff. So I'm going to press cancel. So as, you, as I said, you can have multiple explosions. So if you only want to explode this little view or the other one, uh, like this is the original one I made when I was testing this stuff and this is the no explosion at all where you can create new explosions Let's say I want to print this and give this to I don't know maybe an instruction manual. That's probably the best uh, The best uh, application for this uh, like the easiest to understand application Maybe a Lego manual like if you're trying to make a toy for the surprise kinder chocolate stuff So we're gonna go ahead and uh, go to drafting and I'm going to select a new sheet paper and uh, I'm not sure what this guy means. You can look them up. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that now. So, so over here I'm just going to bring up uh, paper size chart. And then this little first option. And you can see here we have all of the different paper options. So I think... Uh, we want the legal paper, it's a little bit big, letter is probably what we're looking for, which is the A, which will be the equivalent in the Europe, in the metric system, to the A4, and you can have the actual sizes here, so yeah, 8.3, 8.5, 11 inches, uh, it's pretty much, it's near enough, so I'm going to choose that, and then I can close this, I don't, I'm not going to bother with that, and then I'm going to go ahead and press uh, base view, and you can see it kind of comes up uh, normally like uh, it's not the assembly so to load the assembly we want the trimetric view and then this is probably too big to print so it's gonna lower the scale and uh, yep yeah. and so yeah this is it uh, this is how you make explosion views in the next unit graphics I hope this was useful and uh, if you have any questions just uh, you know let me know Goodbye.